Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers, a bizarre blackjack roguelike deck builder that I'm very excited to be checking the demo out for again here today. I played it about eight months ago in demo form. I loved it. It's so strange. I really, really, really couldn't wait to play more. Apparently, the demo just got a major update to it that changes a lot of stuff. Feels like a completely different game now, apparently. So in, we're gonna go to see what it's all about once more. Uh, but first, we get to pick our, basically our character. Hearts heal you, clubs deal extra damage, spades grant you shields, diamonds grant you extra chips. I mean, I'm just gonna go for this one right here. Damage is nice. You approach the old tavern, it reeks of ale and addiction. You're gonna have to master the strange version of blackjack that they play here. Because that's the thing. It's gonna start out looking pretty normal. Like a normal old game of blackjack, but I can assure you... It's going to get off the rails pretty quick. Welcome back. How about a drink or a round of cards? So step one, if you don't know Blackjack, we're trying to either hit or stand. Basically, if I say hit, we draw another card, adding to our value. So we have seven. We are trying to get as close to 21 without going over as possible. That's, that's the whole game. So right now, we know that he stands at 17, so he will keep going. But... If I hit, I would need to get a 5 or lower. It's not very likely, but the thing is, I can stand knowing that even if I lose here, and we, we didn't, we won, even if I lost there, I wouldn't actually lose a ton, because you take damage equal to however the difference between yours and theirs. So if they had 21, we'd only take 5 damage, unless 21 has an extra effect, I can't remember. Uh, so let's say 20. If they had 20, we would take 4 damage. Uh, but... Since they busted, they went down to zero. So we're going to do the full 16 to them. So you do not want to bust. It is spooky. You beat me. Pick a card for, as your reward. They're on the house after every game of cards. And now, yeah, this is where it gets a little bit goofy. High of diamonds. On play, set the value of this card to three on stand. If you are below your bust limit, increase the value of this card by one. On play, choose a card from the opponent play pile to unlock if it's locked and lock if it's unlocked. Okay. Plus two card. On play, put two cards from the top of your opponent's draw pile into play without activating their on play effects. On discard, discard this to your opponent's pile. Ooh. Select this card to add a random special card to your deck. Kind of like the pie of diamonds. Choose a unique chip to take with you. During encounters, the effect of the chosen chip will always be available. Hey, this is new. If you're going to meet the manager, could you please put a good word for me? I'll give you one of these chips to help you. On click, take four damage to gain an advantage, which is a new mechanic as well. On hit, if you already have a score of at least 12, gain an advantage. Sure. So, yeah, I don't know what advantage is yet. Gambler. You would imagine that they'd be pretty darn good. The gambler stumbles into you, their eyes red from exhaustion. You have the time, they mumble as you pass by. Eight, you reply. Old wish day. Choose where to go next. I mean, I'll fight the gambler. I'm a, I'm a gambler, man. You want to play? I'll put 50 chips on it. Okay, so we have the king. 20, we stand. Oh, my lord. Scratch card. They played a scratch card. On play, choose to reveal one, two, or three numbers, each randomly ranging from one to nine. Add the total of the reveal numbers to the card's value and, and also give the player that many chips. Well, well, so they scratched off three things. I mean, they're a gambler. I mean, I think I'll stand. They're almost dead. Nine? We stayed at 19. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna push it. He's a gambler. I'd better win next time. I owe the manager big after last night. Terminate the tower. So we got to slay the spire card. On play, select one of four unique cards to put into play. A half of hearts. Set the value of this card to zero on stand. If you're below your bust limit increase, it's pretty good. Oh, negative 10 of hearts. On winning blackjack, on a winning blackjack, negative hearts reduces the amount you would have healed by... Wait, from winning blackjack. Huh. What? I mean, I'm going to play the Slay the Spire card. Event, have a drink. Mm. 
Hmm. I think let's go for it. Bartender offers you a choice of drinks. Choose a card to remove. It's on the house. Uh, pay 40 chips to remove a card and add a loyalty card to your deck. Take 10 damage. Or 65 to remove a card and add a loyalty card. So 25 bucks. Save 25 bucks by taking 10 damage. Sure. So we're going to remove something. Uh, Man, what do we not like? What do we not want? On winning blackjack, clubs are added to the damage dealt. Low cards can be helpful. Ideally, we would just want... Tens and our aces. The pie of diamonds is a little bit interesting. So we, considering we have that, I'm feeling like maybe like not a nine. I, I'm gonna regret that though, because staying on a 19 could be good. This is a, this is a future thing though. Counterfeiter. I don't know what this is about. This is new too. Want to my modify a card? Shady characters offering you services. Either increase or decrease car uh, costs. 45 chips. Increase its value permanently by one. Choose a standard non-face card from your deck to permanently decrease its value. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Does that work? It looked like it happened. Is that an 11 now? Yep, that is an 11 of clubs. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a little... Oh, God. Going to be a little bit dicey. On place, set the value of this card to 3. On stand, if you're below your bus limit, increase the value of this card by 1. Has stood. So we could just um, stand and theoretically take 1 damage, which seems fine. Joker. On play, choose a card from your discard pile and copy its value in suits. We stand on a 21. Oh my god, and you got a 21, you dirty dog. So what is the loyalty card? On play, every 10th time this card is played, set your score to your current bust limit. Loyalty stamps are persistent between encounters. Okay. So every 10 times we play this, we automatically get a, a 21 currently. Uh, redacted. Gerald from Rivera on play. Select a card in your opponent's play pile and burn it. Ten. Oh! Two of spades. Twelve of hearts. Blood donor card. On play locks while in play whenever you play a card with worth at least one hearts. Remove one from its value for the rest of the encounter and heal one. I don't have any hearts. I'll take a random rules card. Event, slot machine, or stay a night. The gambling game. Fancy spin, you could win big. Buy all three cards for 115, one or spin. Wait, spin for 50 chips to get three different cards. Or can I take one? But, like, I have to buy all three of them. Buy all three cards for 115 or spin to get three different cards that I would theoretically have to buy? I mean, I'll do it for science. I'll figure out for science if I auto-get these next three. My money's on maybe, like, on no that I would still have to pay for them. Yeah. I assumed as much. I just wanted to science it. Poker player... I mean, if, you, if you're worth 70, Blackjack isn't my usual game, but it's quiet here tonight, so let's play. Okay, that's a nothing. Ace up your sleeve. On play, put an ace of a random suit into your hand. Okay, so yeah, advantage is gained from unique chips. Spent play cards from hand or activate on click effects. Gotcha. Ho, 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 ho. 
Didn't count on that one, did you? So does a blackjack automatically do... Oh, no, I think that's because of my, uh, my clubs. Eighteen. We'll stay. You're at sixteen. Thanks for the game. Come, come visit the poker table so I can get my chips back. <laughs> Another loyalty card. Booster pack. On play. Choose one of five random cards and put it into play. Add the other four cards to your hand. Sure. Knight of Cardonia. You're not going to take me live. I haven't been able to play my Terminate the Tower card one time. I'm just going to... Oh, this is a good stand. I was going to say I'm willing to just take a little bit. What is this? On play, take two damage, but gain five shield. When damage is taken, shields are damaged before health. Gotcha. Check who's... Oh, this is the... Whose player's bus limit to modify. Set the opponents to 20 or 22. I'll set mine to 22, considering I'm at 12. We'll, 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 tie, we'll tie. Sounds good. Ooh, an ace. So aces, if you don't know, they can be 1s or 11s. Basically, whatever is more beneficial for you. Cool. So the ace went down to a 1. Alright, this, this shielding, dude. You gotta, you gotta chill. What is this? Jack of Space... What's... What's on that? There's a... What's going on there? I'll, I'll stand. I'll stand. I'll, I'll get... I'll get lethal. Dark Flower. We got a Dark Lotus. Just buy that and sell it, dude. On click, choose a suit and add three halves of that suit into play. Then discard this card. Halves created this way. Burn on discard. Memory card on play. Choose another card from your deck and put a copy into your draw pile. On play, two plus, create, put a copy of the chosen card into your draw pile. Yeah? So we can basically dupe cards. Flip three cards to uncover your fortune. On play, heal 17 health, while in play, you deal double damage on discard burns. On play, choose from the following to put in your draw pile. Valentine's card, Ace of Hearts, all the... Okay. Or another lover's. On play, locks. While in play, opponent is forced to stand at the start of the next round. Unlocks and burns after they're forced to stand. I like the well in play deal double damage part of this. It's the manager. Hello again. Hope uh, everyone's looking after you tonight. Sure, I've got time for a game. Oh, you cheater. I'll, I'll take five. Considering he cheated. Ooh, break limits, sweep the legs, scratch expulsion. On play, select a card currently in play and double its value for the rest of this encounter. Hmm. Set opponent's bus limit to 20 and yours to 22 for the rest of this encounter. On play, deal 3 damage. Increase the damage of all of your scratch cards by 2 this encounter. <laughs> Oof. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... We'll sweep the leg. So they're at 20. It's for the rest of the encounter. Man, I think we just take the three again. Like, I don't want to bust and take the full 20. Select a card to put into play. The others will be put into your hand. I'll go ahead and probably take the ace. Choose a card in your opponent's play pile to swap this card with. Oh. 
Okay, so this is in my hand. You can play cards. Advantages gained from unique chips and is spent to play cards from your hand. So I can play one of these. On a winning blackjack, negative clubs reduce your damage. Huh. So we could do a little bit of cheaty cheaty. Select a card to remember. Oh god, I, I can't remember. Oh god. Maybe I should just make a bunch of claws. I could li literally make a... Um, maybe I should have done that. I'm at 19, but I do have an ace. If I do that, I... Oh, <laughs> I get a blackjack, but you have a business card. I guess I'll stand... Man, that was too close. Adds to your hand on discard. Put a negative 11 of diamonds into play. Oof. Wow. My blackjack beats your blackjack. I mean, that's kind of nice. That, that solves the tie there. Negative 11 of diamonds. Uh-oh. Can't play anything else from my hand because I don't have any more advantage. 12, we're completely safe here. Uh, it's a little bit tight. Choose a card in your opponent's pile. Stand. Perfect. Get wrecked. So I feel like, yeah, Blackjack, I think, maybe does full damage, which is, yikes. Who's in charge? I never met them, but I know they're on another floor. Here, you can borrow my elevator key card. A pie of clubs, a 13 of hearts, a negative two of diamonds. Dark Magician, I mean, sorry, Dark Mage. Lounge or the basement? Ooh. Wait, what was in the last one? I thought it was the basement. Wait, hold on, let me go check. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was technically... It, we, it was the basement that was in the game before. So this is new. Enter the manager's elevator key card to go up one floor. You arrive at an inviting lounge. You brace yourself as you step in, clutching your hastily assembled blackjack deck. I won't bite unless you try something fishy. The card shark. What kind of stuff you got? Uh, select a card to remember... What does Dark Mage do? On play, select a card you have in play with a value of 7 or higher and burn it. I don't know that a claw... Like, is claw good? Wait, why do I have 18 right now? Oh, the memory card has a value of 8. I didn't even see that. On place at the value to zero. On stand if you're below your bus limit. So the half of diamonds is really good. We really should stay at 18. Because that's the thing. If I take one damage, I take one damage. On click, open the box. Randomly selecting a suit for this card and setting the card's value to 10. If the box is already open, close the box, setting the card's value to zero. That is nuts. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's make their limit 20. Magic trick card, Queen of Hearts? Set it to either a Queen of Hearts or a Seven of Clubs. Oh, man. Oh, man. They have two aces out, too. This is not good. I think we have to mitigate our losses. Because, yeah, with two aces, I mean, we are not going to be in a good spot. <laughs> Adds to your hand on play... Select the value of this card from 1 to 11. Cost three times that many chips to play. So what does Scratchy want? 
on play, deal three damage. Deal three damage. Increase the damage of all your scratch cards, but yeah. I think that sounds fun. Okay, so we don't have any aces. We got all of our low... Oh, this is a... S oh! Oh! On play, heal 17, though, at the very least. But that was an instant bust. As you're in on play, select a card you have in play with a value of 7 or higher and burn it. Pretty fun. We're working on that punch card. <laughs> building literally, just building a scratch deck in here. Blank card on first play this encounter. Choose the value from 1 to 11 for the blank card to take for the rest of the encounter. Hmm. I guess... Is my... Yeah. Alright, perfect. We only need it once. I mean, the blank card's super good. Oh my! Feeling washed up. On top of the fact that we have so many of those. Dark Mage. Twelve of Hearts. Honestly, just another ten. Another 10 is good. Luck Pusher or the Wizard? Play ba Blackjack against a Wizard. Let me gather my magic cards. Or are you literally... Are you, maybe you're actually playing Magic the Gathering cards? Stands at 20. Why'd you stay there then? 19 is just good enough. We have so many regular cards. If you use break limits on one of their cards and it's like a if they have like an 11 and you double it to 22, you could you could make it so you have one card in their deck that just instantly busts mixed with the fact that you can set their limit to like 20. There's some interesting things there. Explosion's a little bit scary. Sweep the leg is just very good. I think if we um I think we scratch if we get the memory card first, and we sweep the leg if we don't. No point to play it again, really, right? I mean, loyalty card is tempting. Okay, so you can even do it second time, so I guess maybe... Huh. Ooh. Ooh. What do we have in here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things. The av on average. Oh, same thing. On average, we don't bust. We don't. We don't push it. All right, get out of jail free card. On play, set your score to match your opponent's score. Uh, six is not bad. Not bad with staying at a 20. We do have all these cards that we can actually play now. We can play the get out of jail free card. God, that booster pack is really good. Set your score to match theirs. I mean, it's already already what it is. Oh yeah, yeah. What are you doing, Mister? Okay, we could double a card. We could do some damage to him. Let's. We'll double our pie, I guess. And stay at 17 for the time being. You need to stop with these ones, man. Is there like a limit of how many cards you can draw total? You have so many ones of nothings. 
You have... You've done something wrong. You, you've done something wrong in deck construction, I tell you. Yeah, he keeps on remembering the ones. Uh... Congrats? I think the trick is supposed to be that he gets to keep on playing one of, like, whatever he has, but... Oh, wait, what happened there? Oh, he's able to play the, the memory card is worth eight. I was just like, the second I get the first thing that I'm allowed to play, I'm going for it. Uh, I'll go for expulsion. It's, it's a little bit sketchy, but we'll just make sure we're good. 21 should be plenty. That was my double damage wombo combo. Break limits. So that shouldn't be anything anymore. Let's scratch. At this point, we just we should have been scratching the whole time. We'd be doing so much more. Pie of diamonds. Set the value of this card to... Th so it should be... Yeah, it's still three. 18? Probably enough. It's hard to say if he's going to get the... Never mind. <laughs> it's... His deck is so weird. He's a, he's building up to the point where... that's I think that's what it's supposed to be. He's building up to the point like a Magic the Gathering deck where he can just get as many of these as possible. And we need to kill him faster. I think that's what it is. Unfortunately, I can't really get out of jail free against this. I don't want to do a negative two. But yeah, standing... Okay. Good God. He can get the 19 pretty easily. And that's terrifying. I'm at 18. I don't want to do a minus two. I could Dark Mage. I guess I just stand? Yeah, he's just building up a combo. He's a combo deck. The good news is I setting myself to 20 uh the 22 here. Oh, for the love of god. Okay. I guess we just have to stand and probably accept that we're going to take the one damage. This freaking wizard, man. Stands at 19. At least he does. Let's go for scratch. Let's, we we got to deal damage to him some other way. Thirteen. We can go up to eighteen. So if I go to, I could go to seven. I could, I could get twenty. That's gonna be it. At least something. God, it's annoying. Okay. 16. I... I don't really want to. I could just go down to two, I suppose. Uh-oh. Deal and take 20 damage. We're risking it. That should do double. You know what? We're gonna destroy the 10. Maybe I can play another scratch. Oh, baby. Let's go. We got there. Add to your hand. On discard, put a negative 11 of diamonds into play. Uh, add to your hand. On play, set your score to your current bust limit. On discard, burns. On burn, it's permanently. So just basically one time. You can win one time for sure. On click. So this does take the uh, initiative. You can turn it to a 10 or a 0. I do feel like we can abuse that for sure. I love the idea of a coin flip event. What's your favorite card? Choose a card in your deck to wager? Hell 
Heads get two copies of the chosen card. Tails permanently remove the card from your your deck. Oh god. I don't Tails, I'll take the card. Thank you. Worked out well. Alright, one moment. Okay. Uh let's go. I just want to do another fight, honestly. I'll beat you without even looking. Stands at 18. Luck pusher. Stands at 18 and you're a luck pusher? That is not a luck pusher. I mean, it's more than 17, but not that big of a deal. Can't even play this yet. So you're going to stay there. Select a card to play. Graveyard on play. Set a card value to random value from 6 to 10. Is there anything where I can give it to them? Choose a card in your opponent's pile to swap this with. Well, he's already stayed. So... Oh, he can keep going. <laughs> card art redacted. Deal and take two times damage. You haven't... S you're not standing. Uh, and I don't have the ability to play this. I really like this idea to take a little... Oh, bit of the RNG out of it. And I know it's silly. <laughs> discard? The discard. On play, select a card that's in play and discard it without enacting its on discard effects. Got an 11. Uh... Oh boy. Okay, so we have cool. That helps. If you. Uh, let's do it. So if you stand at 18. I think we lower your limit to 20. I think that that is... Oh, does it change then? I guess it must. I mean, 18, I'm already fine. But I could push it. I could push it by playing the two of hearts, get a little bit more damage out, but is it that big of a deal? Because I'm not getting a blackjack out of it. I think we just chill. To random value from 6 to 10. Okay. Do we start going for... I mean, sweep the leg is a good call. It puts our limit to 22, but I, I also don't think it matters too much anymore. Uh, oh, God. I like the idea of setting a bunch of scratches. On play, select one of the four. Yeah, I think we just keep going for some of those. Part of me wants to do the minus four, but I'm going to push it. You busted. Okay. Uh, squeak out a little bit of extra damage, maybe? Because we kept hitting with the chip on the shoulder. I mean, should help a bit. <laughs> Oof. That's helpful. On click, open the box, randomly selecting a suit for the card. And, I mean, we can do that. It says he stands on 20. Or it stands on 17. But he's not standing yet? On click, set card. Gotcha. So is he going to do the on click thing? Is that what it is? He's in all suits at once. Oh, boy. If I could get the... I can't. We just chill. So we... Okay, so we did stand. You know? I think that's good enough. On discard burn? Oh, no. It's, it's not technically good enough. Unless I can find the way to mess him up here. I could burn it and try and do some shenanigans. Let's try and do some shenanigans. It might bite me in the butt. I'll take a sh I'll, I'll I'll take a draw. Sure. Uh go for an extra scratch. Cool. Does it do more Increase the damage of all of your scratch cards by two this encounter. So it doesn't matter where. Ooh, 
Interesting choice. Interesting choice, my friend. I'll take the 11 shield. Don't mind if I do. Lucky stars put you all the way up to 16 already, huh? You actually do hit on that. You are crazy. Oh. Once again, I push my luck too far. I mean, maybe stop. Hall pass on play. Reveal the top card of your draw pile. Oh, yeah, sure. There'll be a lot of times where that doesn't do anything. Memory test. I'll do sofa sleeper. Take five damage if they wake up. Steal a random card. Handful of chips. <laughs> 115 percent chance to wake up oh and then and not do it i mean there we go shop eight cards i mean i'll go for the teacher just trying to trim that deck down so we can play lots of claws it's an interesting one the star card might need to go what is happening here? Select a card from your draw pile. Place this card into the draw pile above the chosen card. Ooh. So we know... Okay, so we'll know when that card's coming. I'm going to put it above the star card because we really need to know when that's coming out. On average, this is bad. On average, this is bad. I think we definitely have too many... Too many big cards. Unsurprising. Nice. So what does this do? Uh, reduce the amount of hearts you would have healed by winning? I mean, that's fine. So the negative cards used to be extremely... Even stronger, but I, they have that, that gimmick where we at least... You lose a little bit of value. It's not a big deal, though. I think the negative cards are incredible because it lets you gimmick stuff out more. I mean, we might as well throw it out. We get extra uh, advantage for pushing that one there. Okay, cool. Select the card to put it above, so we know when. Let's see. I mean, I'll put it right back above it. Can I? Can't I just? I mean, I can, but there's no point to. Uh, okay. So if we go down five, it's 17. Which I just want to get rid of that for a second. So we have a 21. I can subtract eight. I'll be at five. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I mean, I think we just... Accept it, though. We could play both of these to save us from losing two damage. But I, I think it's fine. Let's put this above... Let's see. Freaking... The memory card? Because that is eight. It is still... It's a spooky one. What have you done? On a oh, flash card. On play, randomly select a number from one to ten. On click, change the value to the selected number. On play, locks. Choose a card from the opponent's draw pile. Put it in your draw pile. Every time that card is discarded, you lose five chips. Huh. Wacky. You can stand on 20 for sure. We could have pushed it. It was an ace. Scratch the teacher. <laughs> that will get you expelled. Not that I'd... No. Alright. Some piddly damage here. We got our dark mage.
feel like dropping theirs to 20 feels good. Dropping mine to 20 could work really well since we have a lot of 10s. Stop stealing my cards. Scratch the teacher. Okay, so we got a king coming up next. We might as well play it. The question is if I want to, like, dark mage to... Trim things down. It's a little bit weird. Minus eight. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. What have I done? What do I have left? Oh, God. I have so many random freaking things. Two tens. Two things... Two things bust me. On average, I do not bust. Which means we get the extra advantage as well. More scratch. So, increase the damage of all your scratch cards by two this encounter. It does not seem to be working. I bet negative two. <laughs> well, that one did nine. I could just do the jack-in-the-box. Whoop. Black jack-in-the-box. Well, that's all my chips gone. How will I tell my family how much debt I'm in? Um, okay. I feel, feel a little bit bad. Break limits. We could just get this card straight up. Loyalty card. I feel like it might be too far. Have we... Surely we haven't even had that at this point. Choose a card in your opponent's play pile to swap this with. Hmm... On average, it's good for you, but it's not that good all the time. Hit me with a random. Time to learn. Oh, that's, this, that's the flash card. Three card Monty. Shop eight cards. I have so much money. Would you like to add any of these to your deck? Honestly, it's, <laughs> I'll just add an ace of hearts. This one's wild. Bizarro, bizarro. I'll add a negative six of diamonds. Probably shouldn't. <gasps> Paparazza! The guests aren't looking pleased with how many chips you've taken from them all. Time to get out of here. Choose where to go next. The only thing I have left to bet with is this path to, path to the VIP area. Oh, you're the... The boss of the zone? Got a dark mage? Uh oh Oh, I can't do it. I... Wow! <laughs> we get the effect, and then we can keep going. Uh, Scratch? It was bound to happen at some point. We have, we have so many tens. Ow. Oh, God, do I stop at 17? I think I stop at 17 and just take three damage instead of pushing it even further. One loyalty card away. Oh, no. Okay, so that's a, it can turn into a six. Ooh, boy. I can't imagine... Oh, nope. It's way too many tens there. We gotta just... Gotta take a couple. Gotta know when to... Know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. On play, heal both players 14 HP. Okay. We can stand on that. Extremely acceptable. Select a card to put into play... Jack of all trades has the blackjack effect of everything. Negative 10 of clubs means you can cycle through your deck a little bit quicker. So the booster pack also counts as a 5. Oh! It's fine. It is preferred than... Preferred to the two. 
Still a win. Still a win, but we used advantage on it. Would I rather be at 20? Them losing the ability to possibly tie. Oh my god. Like, you literally can't win that. Oh my lord! The clubs, man. That extra 21 freaking damage. It's hard to be mad at that. Can have the VIP pass. My shift is over anyway. Add a card there. That Give me the negative nine of hearts. Bouncer. Wait, oh, is there more? Huh? Got a VIP pass? Worthless. No one gets into the VIP area without beating me at blackjack. It's the rule. Ten of nothings. Okay. Oh, boy. The fact that we can play that after is really helpful. Oh. How many do I have that would bust? We have one, two, three, four. On average, we don't bust. All right, for the love of God. Honestly. It's a 42. So you the fact that he has that card where if he draws it, it's it's a perfect blackjack. Now he can't do anything with it. I'm, worst comes to worst, I'm getting lots of advantage. Negative six. We also have a couple aces doing some stuff. Wow, that really worked so well. I... I'll take a draw. I feel like we could probably... We could probably do some more cheese with break limit. <laughs> oh, I broke him. Oh, I broke him. That... You gotta admit that. That's satisfying. Doubling his 21 guaranteed win card into a guaranteed loss card is hilarious. Uh, this is very good. Wait, is there more? There's more in this game right now? Take the bouncer's chips. Let's pass the velvet rope and into the VIP area. Thanks for playing the demo. I was going to say, how long is this? But I'm so happy with it. God, it's so good. It's so good. It's so much better than it was, and it was already so good. There's more actual player expression and skill. The, adva the advantage system is genius. Like, the fact that I... I should have built my deck more around this. Like... I don't know. Playing with the negative, so you could have... You're at a 12, but you are pretty darn confident. You can always hit. I probably should have kept a bunch of small numbers and played in a sillier, different way instead of, like, the normal blackjack way you would think would be like, okay, well, just give me a bunch of 10s and a bunch of aces. You know? Like, just give, just give me that. Uh, this actually makes it so you really could benefit extremely from playing a different way because then you can play cards out of your hand to cheat the system in a way where there's not luck involved, you are playing and active. And I think that's really, really cool. I hope to see it expanded upon more. Uh, and I'm sure it will be, because it's just a demo. But it's getting so good, man. Alas, alas, that is that. It's going to do it here for today. My name is Retromation. Cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Go check out the demo for Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers over on Steam. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.